Hey starlings, Vanessa Montgomery here from Astro All Stars and I'm going to read you your weekly glamour horoscope because I write them or at least the intro. So this week we're looking at gearing up for full moon vibes this Tuesday as La Luna shines big and bold in magnetic Scorpio. Balance the head and heart, material and metaphysical. Get your piece of the pie and share it too. These moonbeams call for your ability to merge resources in one area of your life while maintaining your personal assets in another. Intense is an understatement. Avoid power struggles while not just rolling over and giving in either. Direct your forces into a worthy and challenging project. It's sexy, mystical and promises a deep emotional purge and transformation if you're willing to confront your deepest desires and perhaps taboos. Mercury wraps up its latest retrograde on Thursday. It's all systems go on that new venture, idea or fresh mindset. Take the initiative and pitch or reach out with confidence in yourself and your ideas. Read on to discover your weekly horoscope and what's in store for your sign during the week of April 21 through April 27, 2024 at glamour.com. And you can learn more by buying my books. They're up here, Cosmic Power, Astro Power and Star Power, Guides for Modern Mystics. And also you're welcome to schedule in a session with me, an astrology reading consultation, however you prefer to frame that one at my website, Astro All Stars with a Z. Com. Mercury retrograde wrapping up. It's actually conjunct the North Node in Aries. So it gives a lot more to making that change, starting afresh, those Aries Mercury themes, Aries initiating, going for it, being fearless and Being independent, Mercury, an independent thinker or communicator, that fiery passion as well. So think about where Mercury has been retrograding in your chart. You can come and see me for a session. Again, uh, Astro Power, the middle book is all about transits and that's what we're talking about, birth chart, star power. So have a look at where that has flipped back and where it's going to cross back over. That might be where you've been think, rethinking, reflecting, uh, reframing perhaps, or just having to go back and do something that you rushed over, knowing this sign particularly. So very interesting one. See what comes to mind. The full moon. Yeah, it's a doozy. It's in a T-square with Pluto. And Pluto is the ruler of this full moon because Pluto rules Scorpio. So a full moon square, its own ruler that's in a T-square with the sun uh, because the sun and moon are obviously opposite each other. So that midpoint is really key in this one, that midpoint where Pluto is sitting at, I think it's two degrees Aquarius. This full moon is four degrees Scorpio. So Pluto in Aquarius, Pluto packs a punch. It's a power player. Uh, In Aquarius, it is more detached than Scorpio and Taurus. And that's going to be the key for you, that detachment, the power of the people, um, getting a fresh look at things, getting a real sense of maybe the underbelly of even groupthink or power over the people. So with Pluto in Aquarius, the general theme is power power of the people or power over the people. That's how I'm reading that one. It's also a lot of new technology, just really burgeoning. And I don't think we've seen anything yet. So maybe we'll get a little glimpse into that. Uh, Vasa... Dash One is Microsoft's new Talking Heads AI app thing and it will uh, animate just one still photograph to an audio track and it's pretty close. It's still a bit weird but it's pretty close. So, I mean, I use some serious filters in this but it's still me. So if anyone has an issue with filters, wait till you see this, what's coming. Wait till you see what's coming. It's pretty cr- It's pretty insane, like it's exciting, but then it's also mm, a bit much. There's always two sides to the coin, isn't there? So there's a big debate on at the moment um, with acting and people that present. uh, Is AI coming to take your job? I mean, it can already think. Have you checked out Google Bard? Have you checked out um, Gemini? Is that Microsoft? 
I get confused. Anyway, they're all coming all at us in all directions. Very useful. But my advice is don't outsource too much to these things because the human mind is uh, very efficient. And if it knows something else can do it, you're not going to be working on your own instrument. And at the end of the day, Yes, there's the goal, but the journey as well. And if you don't develop your own mind and your own voice and your um, your own art, I guess, your own talents, you're not developing yourself, your self-development and have something to really be proud of. So just keep that in mind with the balance. Use it as a tool. Don't be used and um, don't outsource too much. Don't outsource too much. You know, the joy is in the journey also and the goal and the paycheck. <laughs> anyway, uh, over and out for me. Enjoy the full moon. It's intense. Don't be wrapped up in debate and uh, have a brilliant week. And of course, as always, stay cosmic. Bye for now.